Hi guys, it's Sassy Cassie Saturday. Hi guys! If that little introduction was not indication enough and the fact that we've been doing this for the past two weeks isn't either, we are doing the intro coconut tag today! Awesome! Okay, so let's get started with this right now. My name is Cassia, or Cass, or Cassie, or Casper. Just call me whatever derivative of that you feel like. I am 20 years old. I am originally from California, but I'm currently living in Missouri, still in the United States of America. Okay, let's just say I like the rainbow. Let's just put it that way. It's easier. I have two sisters. One of them is 19 years old and she was born on the same day as me, just a year after me. So I was born November 26, 1992. She was born November 26, 1993. And then I have another sister and she is 11 years old. Um, obviously I really like saying <laughs> I really, really like watching documentaries on Netflix. I do that a lot. Like, I'm such a dork. Um, I also like to read a lot. I love reading. I just haven't had the chance to do that very often recently. Um, and I love playing with long hair. I, it's not really a season, I guess. It's the in-between, between like late, like late fall and then early winter. So that little bracket of time there. I hate really super freezing cold. Well, not hate it, I don't like freezing cold. But I do hate and despise with a passion summer weather. I hate hot, I hate it, I am dying right now. Like, Missouri weather is miserable. Missouri heat is miserable. It's like humid and icky and sticky and it's like 90 degrees outside. It, and the weather's bipolar, like it seriously was raining like two seconds ago and now it's bright and sunshiny again, like, I don't even. Oh my god, shit face. As you can hear, I do have pets. Okay, I have three dogs. I'm very much a dog person. One of them is seven years old, her name is Lulu, she's a Bichon Westie mix. And then I have my five-year-old Yuki, and she is a full Westie, purebred Westie. And then we have our baby Gancito, which is the only boy, and he is four years old at the moment. Oh, oh my god. The worst one of all is over accessorizing. Oh my god. You have your nice little, you know, heart ring, and then you have your heart bracelet, and you have your heart necklace, and your heart earrings, and oh my god, overload. Like, that's way too much to deal with. It's okay if it's subdued jewelry, like, you know, it's just a piece to fill up the hole or whatever. But, you know, people have that big, like, gaudy pieces of jewelry, and they combine their most gaudy pieces of jewelry all at once. And it's just the tackiest thing ever. I hate it when people over-accessorize. I procrastinate a lot, does that count? Ooh, on this one, I can do you one better. Mama, you're coming. You're coming, Mama. Papa, Mama, you're coming. What did I do so precious, little? Um. Okay, weird story. Um, when my mom got pregnant with my little sister, and I was eight years old at the time, um, she started watching Discovery Health Channel, you know, all the pregnancy shows and the ones where, like, you know, babies are born and stuff like that. I would watch them with her. And then time went on, and I expanded my, my viewership, and I would watch all the shows on Discovery Health Channel. So I got interested in surgery. So for the longest time, I wanted to be a surgeon. And then over time, it changed a little bit, it developed, and I wanted to be a neurosurgeon, but then I realized, oh, well, you know, my hands shake a lot. Like, I twitch a lot, like my fingers are twitching right now, like, I would kill somebody with that, so I can't be a neurosurgeon. So I was like, okay, that's not gonna work. But then I started watching this marvelous show called Dr. G, Medical Examiner. So when I was 10 years old, I came up with the brilliant idea of becoming a medical examiner. And if you don't know what that is, that's cutting people open to discover why they died. I was a very creepy child. 
But to be honest, I probably would have stayed on that track and still have been on my way to becoming a medical examiner were it not for the fact that in high school I took an AP biology class and that teacher completely ruined all biology for me, ever. So, as you know, anything in the medical field is going to require a lot of biology classes. So I was like, nope, that's not going to happen, so. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I have two that I'm actually eating right now. Like, this is apparently my favorite meal currently, but like, I'll eat sour gummy worms and like cream soda. It's really not very healthy for you, but you know, okay. Chicken, I love chicken of any kind. I love fried chicken, I love grilled chicken, broiled, baked, anything, like slathered in cheese or with vegetables, or just any kind of chicken. I adore chicken. I could be vegetarian if it weren't for the fact that chicken exists. I also really love tomatoes. Like I could honestly probably eat them just like an apple, like just just take that big old chunk out of it. I like limes a lot. I used to eat them, just, you know, the wedges and like put salt on them and then I would suck them. And like, um, then I discovered that that really destroys your teeth, so I stopped doing that. But I still dou douse all of my food in lime juice. I also really like mangos and, um, because they're delicious. And then I really, really like avocados and guacamole of any kind, really, so. Especially that chipotle guac, like I just eat that crap. Oh, pozole is the best thing ever. My mom is gonna make it sometime this week, so I'm like super excited. I'm gonna get to eat like two bowls, and then I'm gonna get to eat it for like the next two days in a row until my dad finishes it all. My latest, I guess, nightmare. I guess I'll use this one because it's funnier than that real nightmare that I have. Um, the other night. <laughs> I had a dream that my ex-boyfriend, my most recent ex-boyfriend, was chasing me around like the school campus and he was like stalking me. It was really creepy. I went up to the police officer in my dream and was like, oh my god, you need to help me. And he was like, sorry, I can't help you. He's not committed an act of violence against you. He's just following you around. And I'm like, oh my god. So it was kind of scary in a way. There are a lot of things people can do that I can't. One of the main ones, I guess, like the biggest one that's like a problem for me is the fact that I can't roll my R's. Like everybody can roll their R's even if they're like native speakers, English speakers. But I'm initially a Spanish speaker, so I knew how to roll my R's, but it's just an ability that I lost over time and I can't do it at all anymore. <laughs> and I'm kind of an embarrassment to like, Mexicans in general. I'm like, I'm, 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 a, I'm a fail Mexican. I'm a fail Mexican, that's what I am. I can't roll my R's and I'm the pastiest white motherfucker ever. Like, it's just... No, 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 no. Just, no. <sighs> I hate these decision questions. They're so terrible. Can I just like save everything? Like, is that an option here? <laughs> oh, boo, boo, boo. Um, to be honest, like, people really, there's nothing that I really, that people don't know about me. Like, there's nothing that's like, I guess, hidden or like a secret. I'm, I guess I'm mostly a night owl. Like, I really like staying up really, really late. Like, recently I've been staying up until like 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah? Do you mean like club dancing or do you mean like routine dancing? I <laughs> hate club dancing because club dancing is just grinding. That's not even a dance. But like routine dancing, every once in a while I'll try to learn like a routine. I've had plenty of boyfriends in the past and I have plenty of offers for them now, but I'm single. Mostly recently I've been listening to like, I guess K-pop, but outside of that I listened, oh my god, my favorite band ever is The Gorillas. I love The Gorillas so much. I also really like the horror pops. They're like one of those uh, rockabilly, like psychobilly kind of bands. And I like 
Muse a lot and I like Coldplay a lot and OK Go. Oh, those make me sound so boring. I really like a diverse range. Like I, I do have a variety of music, but my favorite bands are probably those right there. Well, I think I just recently started dubbing at the time. I was auditioning, you know, for random groups and stuff, and then I heard about IKP because they were having auditions, and everybody was like, oh my god, IKP is like the best group dub group ever, like, only the best of the best singers and whatever, and the mixing is so fantabulous and everything else. Really, it was just kind of the fame that got me to audition at first. That sounds so terrible, but it's like, hey, I want to see what I can do. Like, if this is one of the most popular groups, I imagine they're a little bit stricter on who they accept, right? So I want to see if I'm good enough to get in. So I auditioned for the third generation, Nakarui. I guess they liked me because I'm here now, right? So I've been there for like, what, three years? Is it three now? I think it's three. I'm pretty sure it's three years. No, two years. I think it's two years. I don't know, it's been a while, okay? But the point is that I love IKP forever, and I love GG forever, so leave me alone, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video, and if you want to love a long time, subscribe to the Guy Tie Girls channel, and don't forget to like, favorite, and comment on this video for my lovely sale. And check back every other Saturday to get more sassy cats.